Welcome to TLE 7. For week 2, our lesson number 3 is applying safety measures in farm operations and harvesting and post-harvesting practice in profile. For occupational safety measures in the farm, occupational safety when in the farm, safety practices set by the farm owners that involves production and work process of farm workers. Hazard and risk in the farm. Farmers are exposed to a lot of risk, which can lead to major accidents or injuries. Risk is the possibility of a hazard to exist. There are types of hazards. First, we have physical, the mechanical, chemical, biological, psychosocial, and the ergonomics. First, let us define what is hazard. Hazard can potentially harm or injure workers. First types of hazard is the physical hazard. It includes weak platform, slippery stairs or floorings, falling objects, excessively loud music, prolonged vibration, poor ventilation, extreme temperatures, and the poor air quality. Next, the mechanical hazard. Caused by electrically operated machineries or devices that can cause electric shock or electrocution. Next, we have the chemical hazard. Are typical of hazardous chemicals that can cause fire and explosion that came from pesticides, cleaning agents, acids, and of course, poisons. Next, the biological hazards. Includes bacteria, viruses, mold, mildew, insects, and vermin, among others. Psychosocial hazards. The stresses that farmers get from work, family, or even among friends. Ergonomic hazards. Refers to any physical conditions that can be experienced in the workplace due to incorrect body movements that can cause injury. For chemicals and hazardous tools and equipment used for farm work, first, the spraying chemicals. The use of fertilizer and pesticides are common in farming. Here are some important things to remember when using a chemical for the crops. First, do not attempt to spray if there is a strong wind and its direction is towards the body of water or a house. Second, never wash the spray equipment with water running down into open drains or towards a dam. And third, refrain from using a used chemical containers. To reduce the risk of hazardous chemicals, do the following. First, appropriate PPE must be used. Note the first aid procedures, store the chemicals in locked cabinets or storage area, and provide a list of hazardous chemicals used in the farm. Second, for the lawn preparation using heavy equipment and implements, there are some things to remember when using heavy farm implements product. First, do not use a tractor for transportation. It is not a passenger vehicle. Use a seatbelt when driving a tractor and use a PPE can save the operator from serious injuries. To avoid possible hazards and risks in the farm, PPE is advised. Farm respiratory protections, a farmer's use fertilizers and other chemicals, it is necessary for them to use respirators to protect themselves from inhaling mold spores and chemicals. Next, the eye protection. This is used to protect farmers' eyes from possible flying objects, liquid sprays, and other elements that may enter their eyes. Next, the food protection. A farmer's feet is one of the most exposed parts of the body during work. Hand protection. Farmers use gloves to protect their hands from hazardous elements such as holding chemicals or removing infested crops. 
Head protection. Since farmers are commonly exposed to a heat of the sun, it is important for them to wear a hat. Body protection. It comes in many forms depending on the job. Farmers often wear long sleeve clothes and jeans. This is necessary to protect them from harmful elements. Basic first aid. Shock. Do not give the victim anything to eat or drink. Lay the victim on his or her back when do not move him, her if there is a neck or back injury. Make sure that the victim gets adequate air. Keep the victim warm and raise the victim's feet and legs with a pillow. If the victim vomits, roll the victim on his or her side and keep the windpipe clear. For bleeding and wounds, place a clean cloth or gauze over the wound. Apply firm steady pressure for at least 5 minutes. Elevate an injured arm or leg above the level of the victim's heart if possible. When bleeding stops, secure the cloth with a bandage. Do not lift the cloth from the wound to check if the bleeding has stopped. Be sure that the bandage is not too tight. Check the victims for shock and use tourniquets only when you cannot control the bleeding. For chemical or compressed gas burns, use a drenched hose emergency shower or eye wash for at least 15 minutes to rinse away or traces of chemicals while removing any contaminated clotting from the victim. Cover the burn loosely with a clean dry cloth or special burns dressing. Check the victim for shock. For heat or electric burn, submerge the burn area in cold, clean running water if the skin is not seriously affected. Avoid applying cream or any form of ointment. For fainting, ordinarily fainting victims immediately regain consciousness after. If this does not happen, the victim should immediately be brought to the emergency room. For the first aid, the victim should be laid down on their back and allow plenty of fresh air. Apply cold compress in the forehead and if the victim vomits, keep the windpipe clear by rolling to his or her side. Heat stroke. Heat stroke is a life threatening, so this should never be taken for granted. Flush, hot and dry skin, rapid pulse, very minimal perspiration, and unconsciousness are a sign of heat stroke. You need to bring the victim to a color place and lie him. On the back with feet off, then loosen clothing and remove footwear. Apply cold compress or wet towel on the forehead, neck, armpit, and extremities to cool the victims. Treat the victim for a shock or bring the victim to the nearest hospital. For the lesson 4, the crop care and maintenance, and the harvesting and post-harvesting practices. Crop care and maintenance. There are types of crops. First, the food crops. This primarily raised, cultured, and harvested for human consumption. It may be classified as field crops or the root crops. Cash crops. This type of crops is sold for a profit. It can be exported to other countries as well, like coffee, cocoa, sugarcane, and other exportable crops. For feed forage crops, this type of plant is usually raised, cultured, and harvested for livestock consumption, like corn and pasture grasses. For oil crops, again, this type of plant is usually raised, cultured, and harvested for production of oil like sugar cane, palm tree, and coconut. Ornamental crops. This type of plant is usually raised, cultured, and harvested for decorations in the garden and landscape projects, like orchids, rubber tree, and bongamvillea and rose. Industrial crops. This type of plant is usually raised, cultured, harvested, and processed by industries for the production of non-edible materials like tobacco. 
The practices of crop care and maintenance are as follows. First, the cultivation. This is the first stage of crop production. Cultivation refers to the steering the soil through the plowing or harrowing. Seed sowing, planting, seedling. Good quality and healthy seeds and seedlings should be considered prior to sowing and planting respectively. For irrigations, crops require water because water prevents crops from drying out especially during drought. We have different types of irrigation. First, the manual irrigation, the drip irrigation, the sprinkler irrigations, and the pipeline. Next, the fertilizer application. If the soil is deprived of nutrients, it requires management of nutrients such as application of fertilizers, manures, and compost to enrich the soil content. Weed control. Weeds lead to the reduction of crop yield, increased production costs, and increased incidence of pests and diseases. Pest and disease control. To drive away pests, farmers apply pesticides. There are different varieties of pesticides, and each of them has a particular function. Next, support for climbing plants. There is a need to provide support for climbing and crawling plants such as bitter gourd, squash, stewing beans, and strellis may be made of wood or metal. For harvesting and post-harvesting practices, harvesting and preservation, farmers harvest when crops reach maturity. Farmers have various ways to gather and harvest crops such as traditional technique and modern ways. For manual harvesting, employed through the use of mechanical tools such as sickle, pro broccoli, cabbage, cauliflower, and some vegetables are mechanically harvested. Changes in the post-harvest are influenced by various factors such as kind of crop, temperature, oxygen, and carbon dioxide content, relative humidity, and disease incident organisms. Vegetable storage should consider the following parameters. Free from mechanical insects and disease injury and matured crops. Common unrefrigerated storage and cold refrigerated storage are methods to store vegetable. There is a lack of precise control of temperature and humidity in common storage. Pre-marketing operations and selling. This stage involves washing, trimming, waxing, pre-cooling, grading, pre-packaging, and packaging. For pre-marketing operations and selling, first we have the pre-cooling. Involves rapid removal of heat from freshly harvested vegetables, slows natural deterioration of the produce, slows the growth of decay, and retards water loss. Next, the grading. Ensures that the crops are classified according to their size, shape, color, and ripeness. Packaging. The products are placed in the bags, trays, cartons, crates, and hampers of various kinds and sizes. Selling. Farmers sell their produce through retail or wholesale. Retail sales are done when consumers buy produce often, though roadside stands. Other additional practices to increase crop productivity and farm profitability include Increase crop diversity, enhance beneficial pollinators population, employ more eco-friendly weed control measures, improve soil quality, manage labor and input costs, keep track of all the records including expenses and profit, involved in creative marketing. That's the end of our lesson for week 2. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and share, subscribe, and hit the bell button.